This is a very special trip. This is Rachel and my two year anniversary. We've done a lot of trips together, but this will be the first time that you guys will be seeing her on camera. I thought this would be a great opportunity for us to do one last late spring, early summer trout fishing trip in one of my favorite spots here in Nova Scotia. What makes this spot so special is that it holds really big trout, and that's because it's deep in the woods and takes a lot of work to get back there. <laughs> What's that? But the biggest challenge is the final obstacle. One long portage that is notoriously known to be overgrown and in really rough shape. So we just finished one of the worst portages that we're gonna see on this route. And the next spot we're gonna to go to is a honey hole. And crossing our fingers, there's gonna be a trout there too. If not, it's gonna be a pretty light dinner. So we're hoping for it. Gaspero are rising. It's so deceiving. You think it's a trout and then you take a second to keep looking and then you realize it's just a bunch of Gaspero. It's a schooling fish that spawn up these rivers and they get into really, really shallow water. It's a great spot for eagles to hang out and it's a great food source for other animals. That was a big one too, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, I'm so upset. Get it back out there. Just got an awesome little eater. Took it right off the surface. It's funny, as soon as the sun came out, they started getting active. Not the longest fish, but really fat. Definitely what we're looking for out here. At least one more would be excellent, but we're not going hungry tonight. We're gonna head down river a bit, just to see if we can find another hole. We'll approach slowly here. Oh, there we go! Oh, just a dink. We fished for about a half an hour, but it looks like some weather's coming in. So we're gonna head back up river to set up camp. You guys might recall that this is the tent that we took to the Arctic this past summer. This is a four season tent. This is definitely not necessary for this time of year, but we really don't have any three season tents right now. My original Bella Coola is about 10 years old and it finally started to decompose. So now we're bound to this monster of a tent, even for summer camping like this. But tonight we're supposed to get about 20 millimeters of rain. 
So it will be nice just sleeping in there, knowing we're going to stay nice and dry all night. It's about five o'clock. We got one trout for dinner so far. Switched up the dry fly because they stopped biting on the previous parachute. I've changed colors totally. So we'll see if this is the ticket then. Oh, switched up the fly first cast. Oh, this guy's fighting well. I switched up the fly, first drift, a perfect eater. Woohoo! Let's go! Ah, yes. Solid meat for the evening. All right, we got the tarp up. We're expecting about 20 millimeters of rain tonight, starting around seven or eight, which is right around now. So what we're having tonight, pure romance, brook trout tacos, red cabbage, avocado, cilantro, lime. So it's gonna be absolutely delicious. You guys probably know I have been loving the, uh, the avocado cilantro lime combo. It's uh, so refreshing and there's a lot of different options you can use it for. And it's great to take in the backcountry. And one last thing. <laughs> I brought us some white wine. <laughs> Only the finest. <sighs> the fire ban is still on, so we're not gonna be using a fire tonight. We're gonna be cooking the fish on the propane stove. I forgot both the oil and the garlic, so we're gonna have to fry some meat to get some, some fats to fry this trout. The spice is a mix of paprika, chili powder, cumin, and red chili flakes. Let's go! Mm. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. That's so good. Nothing much to do now other than drink some wine. You can tell something's coming in, eh? Yeah. All right, guys, that's a wrap for the day. Caught a couple of trout, had a delicious dinner, and it looks like it's gonna be dumping on us pretty soon. So we're getting in the tent. It's about 9, 9.30, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. At some point in the middle of the night, I was sleeping and I started hearing a little bit of rumbling of thunder and it got closer and closer. There was this crack of lightning that I swear was right over top of us. It was so loud that my eardrums hurt. The entire sky just flashed. It felt like the earth shook. That was pretty intense last night. We were, a little too close for comfort. We were in it. Yeah. I thought a tree was gonna <laughs> fall on us. <laughs> I really want to have a fire. We don't have service, so we don't know if there's a fire ban on. Yesterday there was. Typically I would say it poured rain last night. There's no way there's gonna be a fire ban. But because of what's been happening in Nova Scotia and Canada, I really want to be careful with our fires. The actual fine 
is $25,000. Nova Scotia is not messing around. Even though the ambiance would be a lot nicer with the fire underneath the tarp in this rainy weather, I don't wanna mess around, can't afford it. We're just gonna sit around a nice propane flame and enjoy it. supposed to rain today too so we're gonna pack up camp and start working our way back to the car you're exposed we have to do that horrendous portage again and it's gonna be really wet this time so we're gonna be wearing our rain gear and hopefully not get too soaked what's my prize <laughs> Can you drag her? Yeah. All right, the rain has started. Time to do the final, not the final, but the big portage. Everything's gonna be super slippery. The forest is just so rotten. There's so many holes and all these fallen trees just makes for the ultimate obstacle course. Rachel! Oh, she's alive. I can't believe you didn't help me. <laughs> I guess I could have helped. Oh, <laughs> like the pull of my arms and then this pulling me back. Yeah, no, it's real tough for sure. At one time, this was a nice portage, but nature is trying to take it back. It is so thick, so many holes, so many fallen trees. Rachel looks like a dry bag in legs. <laughs> She's carrying a lot of weight. We're about halfway. We are lucky that it looks like someone did come through the chainsaw and they did cut some of the blowdowns. Without that, this would be impassable. Nice. Good job. All right, final portage. Get it. Pick her up. Uh, there we go. All right, guys, we made it back to the car. We're soaking wet, a little sore from those last couple of portages, but overall, an amazing trip. Thank you so much for joining us. Again, if you guys love the content, please consider some <laughs> a sub goes really far and it really helps this channel grow. And if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be able to do this stuff. So again, thank you. And until next time, my friends. <laughs>